Hello girlfriends and welcome to another episode of Tried and Tested. Now we are outdoors today because we are trying out some products that are supposed to keep you cooler in hot weather. And this is Singapore. Pretty much every day is hot and humid. Perfect to test this out. Here we have not just an umbrella, but a fan umbrella. So this umbrella has a fan in it. This is battery operated, it runs on four AA batteries. There's also this thing where you can attach a bottle at the end so that it becomes a spritz bottle. I think this button is for the fan, am I right? Wow, I mean guys, it's so cooling right now because the wind is blowing directly at my head. I mean, the strength of the fan is actually not too bad. I feel like it's not super strong, but I think it's at a good place because when this thing is so close to my head, I don't think I want it to be that strong either. And it's got a really good safety netting here as well. Okay, so you know right, on sets, if there's a cut or something, then they'll come with like an umbrella and a fan. So they have to hold the umbrella and the fan separately. This is so good if it's just like one thing. Okay, before you say people diva or what, uh, it's actually also I find a very practical issue because first of all, if you're in the sun, you cannot change colour because you have Conti problems. So you'll be like, if you change colour, which can happen very quickly in this kind of hot sun, you're like one scene, you're this colour and the next scene, you're brown. But the timeline hasn't even shifted. So this is really a practical issue. The fan is also so your makeup doesn't melt off too fast and don't need to do so many touch-ups. So, okay. Oh, haven't finished yet. I've still got the spray bottle. This tube goes all the way up and it dispenses right underneath the fan. Then as the fan is going, it will create a mist around you. Wow! <laughs> I'm so happy. This is so good. Oh wow, the mist is so nice and light. It's like when you're walking through a light shower, you know, but it's not too heavy that will mess up your hair or your makeup. It's so cooling. I've actually used quite a bit of the mist already, but it's only gone down like this much. Oh, you know why also there's a problem? Okay, so the more I spray, the more it collects on the net. So now I have little droplets on the net. So I'm gonna have to, I think, just shake it out a little bit. A little bit of maintenance going on. This umbrella exceeds all expectations because let's be honest, what kind of expectations could there have been in the first place? Who thought that you would need something like this? This is the best thing ever! Wow, I love this so much. This is everything out of 10. This is everything. Amazing! So this is a scalp essence that's supposed to reduce the temperature of your scalp and it's also a scalp deodorant. The top has these like brush-like things. Now we saw the video of them trying it on a bunch of people and the reactions were pretty huge. Wow! Oh my god, that's super awesome. <laughs> Wow, it's almost freezing. So it's supposed to be fast absorbing and non-sticky. Ooh, wow. That is very cooling. This is more cooling than any dry shampoo I have ever tried. When it's still wet, it definitely has a residue. So let me just let it dry out for a while and then see how. Personally, I'm not a huge fan because it feels like the artificial cooling effect is making the rest of me feel more sweaty. It's almost as though like it makes it worse. Like now, it's almost as though like this part feels cool and the rest of my head feels more sweaty. Cooling sensation is worn off and then it feels like it looks dirty. It looks like my hair hasn't been washed in a while. I think it's an 8 because it does cool down and it does make you feel cooler and I have minus points because of the residue but personally, I wouldn't use it. So I had a friend who used a similar cooling product but that one was for body and she sprayed I think for too long or maybe too much and it burned her skin. So I think you might want to be careful with things like that, like just don't hold it in the same spot for too long. So this is a cooling arm sleeve or some people call it a hand sock and it's from Korea. What it's supposed to do is absorb perspiration well and apparently when the moisture evaporates, there's a cooling effect and also it provides UV protection. I do find the material a little bit thick. It's a bit like a thick stocking. It feels a bit like exercise gear. A lot of exercise gear uses like, I think Lycra, polyester, I don't know, it just feels a bit like synthetic. This one feels a little bit more organic. I'm sure it's a mix or something. Right now as I'm wearing Wearing it, it feels as though this hand is cooler than this hand, but I think it's hard to tell just like that. So I'm going to take it 
with me and the next time I'm on set, I'm gonna give this a shot. This sleeve thing, I don't know man, I've seen so many people wear this on set so I think that the idea itself probably works but this one in particular I didn't quite like because this thing here was really tight and it just felt like I was wearing a ribbed sock for most of the day and there was like no point at which I kind of forgot I was wearing it, do you know what I mean? Because I have worn like long sleeve tops in the sun or when I'm exercising because they're supposed to wick the moisture away and all that kind of stuff but they didn't feel so present if that makes sense but this one felt very present all day and I wasn't really like it was just a little bit uncomfortable for me so I was not a huge fan of this I would give this like maybe a five and I didn't feel cooler on this arm than I did on this arm yeah so five so I'm on another outdoor shoot and a lot of people are wearing the sleeves and everyone says it's good for sunburn but it's not good for cooling you down necessarily and I think that the one that I tried was probably a little bit too small for me but I definitely believe that it's possible to find one that is more comfortable and more to my liking and there definitely seems to be a good use for it. So this is a cool shirt mist that's supposed to react with your sweat to create an icy sensation. And it also has a deodorizing effect. So you can spray it on the areas of your clothes that you expect to get sweaty, like your armpits. Ooh, that is cooling. It smells very, very, very minty. It smells like a Wrigley's Double Mint. I can't tell if I'm feeling cooler because it's wet or because it's got the icy minty feeling. So I'm just going to spray on a larger surface area and see how that feels. Now, actually this part that I've sprayed has dried out and I'm going to press it on my skin and there still is a slight cooling sensation. I think Gatsby also has some wet body wipe that has that icy minty sensation. It's something like that. Okay, so this side compared to this side which has nothing on it, I can definitely feel a difference. Oh, I can imagine like really wanting to use this on like a very hot day outside. There is though the sense that it's an artificial coolness. Like it's a chemical kind of cooling. Some people might not like that. Kind of feels a bit like, is it burning me? Okay, so if you do have sensitive skin, I think maybe you might want to be a little bit careful with this one. Like to me, there's a slight sense of discomfort. It's like, it's burning, but it's cooling. Like you can't tell the line between the burn and the cool. Yes, so I'm feeling that right now, but eh, it's quite nice though. But I do feel like my skin is burning a bit, so... I think I'll give this like a 6.5 out of 10. Yeah. <laughs> Here, we have a cooling towel. It's like really thin and very light. So what you're supposed to do is wet it in water, wring out the excess and flick it. And we also have a regular towel to see what's the difference. And then place it anywhere in your body that you want to cool down. Oh, this does have a cooling effect. This makes me feel cooler. This makes me feel more irritated. <laughs> Even after wrapping this around a couple of times, it doesn't feel as suffocating. Because it's so thin, it's kind of really easy to kind of wrap around and have it stay in place. Even in this humid weather, I still feel that cooling sensation. And apparently to refresh it, you just need to wet it again and then squeeze out the water again. So it's been about like 10-15 minutes and the towel doesn't feel like it's like dried out. It kind of feels about the same as at the beginning. Just to test this out further, I'm going to bring this with me maybe one of the days where I go to set and see how it functions in a practical environment. So I've used it for a few hours now, uh, I think about four hours and it's pretty much dried out but it's still quite cool. So the length I felt like slightly odd, like not quite here, not quite there and um, the material, it did feel a little bit plasticky to me so I wasn't a huge fan of that um, but in terms of whether or not it cooled down, I guess overall yes but then also having it wrapped around made me feel a little bit strangled just because of that plasticky feeling so overall I think I would give this a 6.5 I feel like comfort would be quite high on my list for something like that because you know when you're out and you're like sweating and everything even if it cools you down but makes you feel like more uncomfortable might not be like the best 
So this is a portable wearable neck fan. Now the neck is actually the best place to target when you're trying to cool off because it's got all these blood vessels that are close to the surface of the skin. So this makes it easier to cool down your blood and therefore your overall body temperature. This is the charging port and this is the on-off button. So you can increase the speed by pressing it again. So now I can feel the vibration around my neck but what I find a bit strange is because it's also sitting on my collarbone. So that my collarbone is also feeling vibrations throughout my body which is weird. I don't mind my neck vibrating but I'm not a fan of the collarbone kind of going with it. Like if you're quite sensitive to stuff like that around your neck, like it's making me feel a little bit nauseous. They're very close together, it's more of an overall cooling effect. But when they're apart, it does feel a bit more like there's a bit more hot air coming at me. I've used like portable fans before and they do have the effect of cooling me down like I don't feel so much like there's so much hot air maybe because they're slightly bigger but this one is like a bit smaller I think this is nice because it gives a great amount of flexibility in terms of like how you want to adjust the fan and which way you want to face it so if you are around and you don't mind the vibration and you kind of want like a hands-free cooling down set then this is not too bad overall I think it's a nice idea but maybe the functionality like not great I'll give it a six Alrighty, we've come to the end of the episode. If you want to find out more about the products, how much they cost, where to get them from, you can go to our Tried and Tested Facebook page or you can just check out the links in the description box down below. And if you've already subscribed to our channel, thank you very much. Now all you need to do is to hit that bell and you'll be notified every time a new video comes out onto YouTube. Or you can just download our newly revamped Click Network app and you can watch the videos before they come onto YouTube. All right, till next time, go be beautiful and stay cool.